Hi everyone, I am Christopher and I'm here to show you guys how to use tinfoil to install Switch games to your Nintendo Switch. So whether you legally own the game or get it some other way, cough cough. For legal purposes, I don't condone pirating, so Nintendo don't come after me, this is just a tutorial. Alright, let's get right into it. So for this tutorial, we're going to do it via USB. So your Nintendo Switch is going to be connected to the USB to your computer the entire time. This is because these are usually large file games that you're going to be installing. With FAT32 formatted SD cards, you can't transfer more than 4 gigs of files to it. So we're going to have to use tinfoil and nut to install these Switch games to our Nintendo Switch. Alright, so we're going to begin by clicking on the first link in my description, or you can just go to tinfoil.io slash download, and it'll take us here. So we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And we're going to click on download tinfoil 16.0 NRL self-installer. And then we're going to download nut. So we're going to click here and it'll take us to this GitHub. The files that we're going to click on is nut.exe and tinfoildriver.exe. All right, so now we're going to open up our download folder. I already have it open. You see the three files that we downloaded. We're going to start with tinfoil self-installer and it should be just a folder called switch. So we should already have our SD card inserted to the computer. So we're going to open up our computer and click on the switch SD card. And you're just going to grab the switch folder from tinfoil and drag it into your SD card. And it should transfer all the files. This may take quite a while. Okay, for me, it's asking me to replace the files in the destination. I'm just going to replace them. It may or may not ask you to. So do that. Next, we're going to download the tinfoil driver. We're going to use this program to detect our Nintendo Switch with NUT. So we're going to open it up, hit next, and finish. All right, now we're going to open up NUT. All right, the first time you open it, it may take a while, but just let it do its thing and Everything should work out fine. All right, so you don't want to close this or else it'll close the entire program. All right, now that we have all our programs open up, we're going to need to inject our Switch. If you don't know how to do that, I would recommend looking at my other video, How to Mod Your Nintendo Switch. If you haven't already modded your Switch, I recommend watching that. That'll teach you how to inject your Switch properly. So I'm going to do that right now. Just give me a quick minute. All right, so I injected my switch and now we are going to install tinfoil. So on our home screen, we're going to go to album. We're going to go to tinfoil installer. Before installing tinfoil, you're going to want to make sure that your date is set to the proper day and your time is set to the proper time and your time zone is set properly as well. So with all of that checked, we're going to go click on tinfoil and run the installer. This weird little ineligible pop-up is gonna pop up. Just hit OK. And here we are at our home screen for tinfoil. So now we're gonna go back to our computer. So if you did this correctly, you should see that the USB changed from disconnected to connected. If it still says disconnected, either the driver didn't install properly or your time zones weren't set properly. So I would retry either of those and see if that fixes the problem. Now moving on, um, you can see right here that we have these tabs right here, filters to, you know, what types of games you're going to have, like the base game, the DLC or the updates and your region, whatever region you are, you can just leave that alone. Um, and then you have local scan paths. This is where you're going to set your folder to select wherever you have your ROMs at for your Switch or your games. So for me, we're going to hit Browse, Desktop. I have it under Switch Games. And then and you're just going to select Folder. You don't have to open it up. And bam, there it is. You can add additional folders if you'd like, if you have more than one place where your ROMs are at, but typically it's probably best to have them all in one directory. Now that you have your directory set up, let's go back to files and we'll hit scan. 
and you should see the whatever games that you have in that folder pop up. For me, I only have one. I'm not going to say the name, but there it is. So now we're all set up to go. Now we have to go back on our Nintendo Switch. So your Nintendo Switch needs to be connected to the computer still through the USB. So that's why I'm recording like this. So now we're going to go to File Browser, hit A, select USB, and there you go. The games that you have in your computer are now right here. So you can just select the game that you want to choose. If you have more than one, you'll see a whole list. For me, I only have one. You're going to press A to open. So you can see that you can install it right here. And then if there's any updates for the game, you can select to include that during the install. And if there are any uh, DLCs that you've downloaded, you can include that as well. If you just want the base game, then you would just select install. So depending on how big the game file is, it may take a while. So just leave your Nintendo Switch connected and come back when it's done. Okay, once it's done, you can go back to the home menu and you should be able to select the game. All right, so now you have your totally legally owned Nintendo Switch games on your Switch. So just want to reiterate, you can, in fact, get banned from doing this. So make sure you keep your Nintendo Switch off Wi-Fi when running these games. You don't want to accidentally go online, especially on online games, because you will get detected from Nintendo and your Switch will be banned. Um, just do this at your own risk. That's all I have to say. I cannot provide you guys any links, but I can tell you what to look for, though. You're going to want to search for NSP files or XCI files. Uh, just do a Google search and that should help you guys locate whatever you're trying to get. If you have any questions or comments uh, or any suggestions on the next video you guys would like me to make, leave it down below and I'll try my best to help you out. All right. Thank you guys. Bye.